LCI, Landing Craft Infantry, has spearheaded amphibious attacks all over the world. A powerful transport weapon of the United Nations, it has proved itself indispensable. But its fine performance is no surprise to the United States Navy. A model had demonstrated the boat's capabilities long before the first LCI touched an enemy shore. Here at the David Taylor Model Test Basin, the Navy tests and develops new craft of all types. When the first LCI was still nothing more than a set of blueprints, Admiral Howard and Captain Saunders, directors of the basin, went over its specifications. And a few hours later, workers began to build a model hull. They glued carefully cut pine boards, doweled them into place according to plan, and dovetailed the joints. Then, when the hull was ready, the dynamometer was installed for power. The craft was trimmed with weights to give it the right balance. It was ready for testing. Night and day shifts had finished the complicated and precise scale model in three days. Workers moved it into the deep basin, where in the vast testing tank, the embryo LCI could prove itself. This 42-ton carriage, driven by electricity and oil, at speeds up to 18 knots, can be controlled to two one-hundredths of a mile an hour. Rails set to the curvature of the earth guard against gain or loss of speed from gravity. Here and in other tanks in the same building, models can be tested for lines, power, design, outboard devices, underwater rigging. Even projectiles can be studied. Such tests in miniature save hundreds of tons of metal thousands of man hours and labor, and valuable time that the Navy cannot afford to lose. The model is attached to the carriage, which acts as a guide and a control room. The boat moves under its own power. On the carriage, instruments tell the engineer every fact about the performance of the ship. When the connection is made fast, the engineer signals the operator at the controls, and boat and carriage move forward together. When the basin had finished its tests on the LCI, there was no guesswork left. The Navy knew, and the craft went into production. But as fast as one test is completed, another is begun. Here, for instance, a model aircraft carrier moves toward a launching trial in another part of the building. Hundreds of miles away in a naval shipyard, a huge carrier lay ready to be launched in a narrow channel. The problem, how far would the carrier ride? How quickly could it be stopped? This model told them the answers. Admiral Howard sent his recommendations to go ahead with the launching. The big carrier slid down the ways and rode just 10 feet short of the mark indicated by the test. Behind the ships at sea, backing up the interminable work of the drawing boards and the sweat of the shipyards, the Taylor Basin is constantly at work giving the Navy ships that any commander is proud to take into battle. 